So what we have behind us is a properly flashed window. We flash this using peel and stick flashing and the shiplap method. Uh, there are several other methods that you can use to install a window and waterproof it. This one actually works really well with um, for our purposes here today. We're going to talk about how to appropriately install and flash the Amico Ultra Drain Drip Edge on top of this window. So the first thing we're going to want to do when we go to install our Ultra Drain is take the WRB. Hopefully it's been cut back. We're going to flip that up and out of the way so that we can have access to the wall behind it. One of the most critical things to, to make sure you're doing when you're installing this product is tying it to the weather plane of the opening. That way any water that hits the paper or even gets behind the paper has this surface protecting it from the WRB. So once we get that up and out of the way, we're going to test fit our part on the window. Now a couple of things we're looking for here. I've cut this about an inch and three quarters longer than the overall width of my window. That way, when I'm ready for it, I can bring my EZB back and install it right up flush in the corners and I have room for that. I can also have access to my pre-drilled nail holes that is going to make the installation go that much easier. And when the time is right, I'm going to bring back my peel and stick flash and just finalize that, that last layer of shiplap flashing to tie this into the weather plane. So now that we've got our ultra drain drip edge cut, sized properly with our overhang for easy bead, we're gonna go ahead and install it. Now there are a couple of different ways you could install this. We're gonna be using a, a screw gun with a couple of exterior grade screws. You can use a galvanized nailer, a pneumatic nailer, uh, or even staples could work as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tack this up here. And again, I wanna make sure that I'm leaving enough room on each edge for my easy bead to go in easily. We'll get a couple more attachment points and we'll come right back. Now that we've got our ultra drain situated and in place, we made sure that we have room on each side for our easy bead application when it's time for that. We're gonna tie our ultra drain into the weather plane of the house and continue the shiplap method that we did when we installed the window. What that means is, I've cut a piece of self-adhesive flashing about two inches longer than my ultra drain piece. And when I go to apply it, I'm gonna make sure that I get it down into the drainage trough with about an inch to an inch and a half of overhang on either side. That way any water that hits this surface is gonna either go down through the ultra drain and out the face, or at least be shed from the corner out onto the ship lap from where we uh, flash the window. So as I'm applying the flashing and tying it to the weather plane, I want to make sure that I get really good down onto the corner here and create a little score line where the, the nailing flange is on the ultra drain. That's going to help me create space to apply my end caps. So now I'm going to use my Amiflow drip edge end caps. And these are really going to replace the need to do any kind of custom set, uh, pan flashing or, or bending flashing for over top of the window. And here's what I mean. I have this end cap that's going to go into the end of the ultra drain drip edge. On both sides I have a left and a right. I'm going to slide them into the extrusion just like so. And when it's done, I've got not only the drainage plane that's going to protect my fenestration or my opening, but I also have the end caps that are going to make sure that any water that gets in this drainage cavity are going to go down and out and not to the sides behind my siding. What you want to do when you're applying this is make, you, make sure you've got a good exterior grade sealant, whether it's silicone or caulk. You want to start at the drip lip here and run it all the way in this cavity, all the way around the profile, so that when you insert it into the profile, you get a good bead of sealant all the way around and into the trough as well. Now that our drip edge is installed properly and flashed in with the weather plane of the house, we're going to go ahead and flip the house wrap back down and take these seams off. So at this step of the process, to make sure that I get the best coverage with my scrim and that my insect screen gets installed appropriately, I'm just going to come over and I'm going to cut the scrim even with the end of my ultra drain drip edge. And what that's going to allow me to do is leave this part of the scrim to overhang for water deflection while I tuck this part of the scrim in my drainage plane and create my insect screen. So my rain screen and bug screen are now inside my drainage trough and my rain screen scrim is ready for me to install the next layer. So we're just finishing up the application of our rain screen here. We made 
some slots to allow both for our bug screen to drop down over the bottom portion of the screen here, but also so that we could get our bug screen into the drainage trough and bring that water barrier all the way down. This is Amico's Easy Bead. I'm gonna use it to trim out the window against my stucco or my stone mortar. What's great about this product is it's not only a casing bead, but it's a casing bead with a flexible bulb on the top. With this surface going up against my window, it's gonna give me a good consistent edge to spread my silicone or my exterior grade sealant all the way around the window and give me a nice consistent finish. So if you remember when we cut our dimension for our, for our ultra drain drip edge, we left a little bit on each side long so that we could slide our easy bead right up into application. Now I've pre-cut this part just to kind of show how easy easy bead is. But all you do is just wrap it around the bottom corner and you come along the other side and we'll get it attached. Now that our easy bead is done and our windows trimmed out, we're ready for lath and our exterior cladding, which could be stucco or stone veneer. Once you finish that step, just come back, caulk your trim, and we're all good. So as a demonstration, I'm going to pour some water between the rain screen and the weather resistant barrier. And you're going to see that water come down the wall, through the, through the drip edge, and out the front. So you can see the drip edge is actually draining the water instead of allowing it to sit on top of your window or soaking into your OSB.